Is it just me or does it feel like we're spending entirely too much time in Roger Goodell's basement? And it, it, I don't know, just looks like the showroom floor at Ikea. Not to say it is from Ikea because it's clearly not. Just very perfectly staged. Anyways, we're spending a ton of time in Roger Goodell's basement during this NFL draft. The Cowboys, meanwhile, Friday night added two more players, both on the defensive side of the football, to make fans happy because those that were unhappy with CeeDee Lamb yesterday because he wasn't a defensive player are going to be satiated by the pick today. Before I talk about Trayvon Diggs and Neville Gallimore, first, I need to tell you, thank you for watching, thank you for commenting, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for ringing the bell. That way you were always notified when I post a new video. There were some rumors that maybe the Cowboys would be interested in Alabama corner Trayvon Diggs with the 17th overall pick. Well, they got CeeDee Lamb on Thursday night at 17, and then added Trayvon Diggs, the corner, with the 51st pick. And there's certainly a ton to like about Diggs. He's got a ton of upside. That's where you start. I mean, he's got great size, 6'2", and he's very inexperienced at the position insofar as he played wide receiver like his brother Stephon Diggs switched to a full-time corner his sophomore year at Alabama. So basically, he's just spent really just a couple of years playing cornerback. So he's got a lot to learn. As for the Cowboys' third round pick, at 82, Cowboys went with another Oklahoma Sooner. This time they took Canadian Neville Gallimore, the one technique. I actually like this pick a lot more than the Trayvon Diggs pick. And the reason I say that is because the Cowboys still need help at cornerback. Trayvon Diggs is a good addition, but I mean, is he going to be your, your starter day one? An inexperienced corner who is physical and, and has shown the ability to play at times in man, but probably is a better corner in zone coverage. What I'm saying is Trayvon Diggs has a lot of upside and is a really good player and a good pick but he goes in a cornerback room that needs him to be a really productive player from day one, whereas Neville Gallimore, who has a ton of upside, goes to an interior defensive tackle group that, I mean, he's just gonna be part of a rotation that's gonna be very, very good. The other reasons why I like Neville Gallimore are because this guy's not the biggest load in the world, 6'2", 300 pounds, which means he needs to be in a one-gap system, right? He needs to not be a space eater. He needs to be a guy that can be aggressive and get up field and not be a guy that's trying to eat up multiple blockers as he had been in a two-gap system. When, when Oklahoma had one of the worst defenses in college football history, they ran that two-gap system. And that was just not to the strength of Neville Gallimore. Alex Grinch comes in last year, he says immediately he's gonna switch him to this one-gap system, and now he's a penetrating defensive tackle, meaning he, and he popped on film last year. Put up big-time numbers, great statistics. And here's the thing too, Oklahoma's defensive line last year, not very good. So Neville Gallimore was consistently facing double teams, and he put up pretty decent numbers the best of his career while still having to go up against double teams. Again, not, not, a, not an anchor, big-bodied guy like Don Tari Poe, but a, just a penetrating, undersized, but athletic, really good motor. Just to, This guy continues to work. I'm, a, I'm just a huge fan of Neville Gallimore, and not like I like him more than Trayvon Diggs. I just think Trayvon Diggs is going to be in a tough, tough spot. And, and my biggest hope coming out of this draft is that the Cowboys are going to need help at corner beyond anything that they could improve upon this team in this draft. They weren't gonna be getting Jeff Okuda, they weren't gonna be getting CJ Henderson, and those are two guys that could probably come in and start day one for you. Maybe Trayvon Diggs can, but considering Cheeto and Anthony Brown, Jordan Lewis, not a ton of known commodities there in a passing league in the NFL. But with all that being said, the Cowboys obviously had to spend some draft capital on defense, and they do that day two. All right, this is where the best GMs, this is where they find diamonds in the rough. Saturday's day three. Stay tuned. I've got a video coming for you to recap day three. Seriously though, Roger Goodell's basement. Creeping the hell out of me.